Hey everybody, breaking news out of Dana Worf Sport Fishing. The Lexi had a double jig strike today on albacore. So now we have a total of three albacore that have been taken in Southern California waters. This is really exciting news. A couple days ago, the Aztec had the first albacore of the year, and now the Lexi. Dana Worf Sport Fishing, double jig strike on the albacore. Seems like we're on to something here. Lots of cold water and also lots of anchovy are holding a few albacore around. We've had reports of saners catching some albacore mixed with yellowfin tuna. Hang on, everybody. It's about to get exciting. Hey, good morning, Phil. You can see we got plenty of live squid here this morning. Sitting in front of Avalon. There's the casino. Good weather here this morning. I heard, I didn't see, but I heard a couple guys, a couple of local guys did catch a couple sea bass in the east end yesterday. So, if you're looking for sea bass, maybe try the east end here today. All right, Bill, good morning. Have a good day. The El Patron operates out of 22nd Street Landing in beautiful San Pedro, California, and they have a slew of one and a half day trips where you'll fish with only 10 anglers on board. Bluefin tuna fishing, yellowtail fishing is outstanding in Southern California, and there's no better way to do it than on the El Patron. 310-832-8304 or visit 22ndstreet.com. Hey, good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to a beautiful Saturday morning here. In Southern California, I'm in Surfside, California, and man, it couldn't be any more lovely than it is. There's virtually no wind. The ocean looks to be flat calm. What a beautiful moonlight night it was last night. I came strolling in here about 1 o'clock in the morning or so, and now up for you for the morning briefing, and there's a lot to cover. More albacore in Southern California. What does it mean? And what does it portend for the future? We'll delve into that a little bit. Our bluefin tuna bite kind of took a powder on us. I mean, some guys really conked him, but there was a lot of slow scores. We'll talk about that. We'll go south of the border. We'll head up to the Channel Islands. There's live squid available at Catalina Island for the time being. You saw the lead in. Make sure you call Captain Pat Whitaker on the manana before you head to him. He's at the west, or pardon me, the east end of Catalina Island this morning. You know what time it is, everybody. It's time for the morning briefing. Oh, what a delicious cup of water. Man, it was so good to see so many of you at the Orange County Fair last night. Baja Blues, Carlos and his lovely family. Carlos, thank you so much for coming by. We were slammed. Sorry I didn't get to spend a little bit more time with you as I would have loved to. Boy, there's a lot going on, but first of all, on the lead-in, you saw the El Patron. She runs out of 22nd Street Landing in beautiful San Pedro, California. She's going tonight on a trip. Call 22nd Street if you'd like to get on board the El Patron. 310-832-8304. Tomorrow, it's Kids Fish Free Day on board the Californian out of Ventura Harbor Sword Fishing, paid adult. Kids 12 and under go for free. Great fishing up there right now. Bass and Barracuda, Bonita and Always a lot of rockfish up there, 805-676-3474. So you can join the great folks there at Ventura Harbor Swordfishing. All right, let's get into it with you, and let's talk about that albacore catch yesterday, the Lex C. Dana Ward Swordfishing, a double jig strike on some nice long fin, as you can see right there. A couple more albacore. That is three so far this season. It is far from an albacore run. That's Really what I predicted, I predicted that we'd catch several hundred albacore. At least that was what I was driving at with all of you. So it's great to see this. It gives me high hopes that we could still pull this off. But what we've got is this really oceanographical battle starting to take place now with El Nino shoving in more warm water. You're going to see more tropical fish as days go on. But El Nino starting to shove in more warm water and albacore don't like that. Offshore, however, we still have that cooler water that is perfect for albacore, so we could still get that run. And there has been many a season, ladies and gentlemen, where you see that warm water fish down the beach or in the coastal regions, Dorado, yellow fin tuna, yellows on kelps. And then offshore, those albacore in that cooler water. I mean, I remember my charters out of Point Loma back in the late 70s. Uh, guys would say, what do you want to do, go down the beach? It's smaller grade. We're not 
you know, we're putting the wood to them. We're catching hundreds of these 8 to 15 pound yellowfin tuna. I'm not saying that's what we're going to have this year, but you had that as one alternative or we can go offshore and catch some 20, 30 pound albacore. What do you want to do? So maybe it's going to be that kind of a season with all that answer, with all that cold water all year long. I am really still thinking this could come together and great job on the Lexi. We're really happy for you folks. Really great to see that. It's an odd area. Uh, more Dorado, as we have been telling you for a week now, we're seeing more flatheads push in there. And the San Diego base boats got a chunk of that yesterday. Also, we'll talk about that in a minute. But a little bit more Dorado. There's some yellowfin tuna down there, and there's some bluefin. It's been scratchier on the bluefin, on the tuna, on the offshore here recently. So a lot of guys are falling back on some fantastic local fishing, as we really have all up and down the Southern California coast, including the Ensenada area with Bass, Bonita, Barracuda, Great calico bass fishing along the rugged Baja coast and Punta Banda area. University Point right there in Ensenada has some good barracuda fishing going on. Todos Santos, we see some really good fishing going on there also. So really looking much better down there for that local bite. The offshore has been a little bit more on the dicey scene. Hey, don't forget August the 15th, just a few spots left on the horizon. Captain Bill Wilkerson. Freeman Adventures on board. I'll be shooting your video. You can call H&M Landing August 15th, day and a half with Freeman Adventures. You can book with them 619-222-1144. Horizon H&M Landing August the 15th. All right, the San Diego scene. There was a few guys that had some really good fishing, and then there was some very tough fishing as those bluefin just seem to be playing their games again. That's why well, I have to laugh when I get hashtags from some of my buddies on the boats that says anything but bluefin because bluefin are so fickle. I mean, it's a blessing. Let's not really be crazy about this. These giant bluefin, even these smaller bluefin, providing such great fishing opportunities for so many. But at the very same time, they are so fickle. One day they bite, one day they don't. They move, they're just driving those guys crazy. And that night bite, man, I mean, you talk about hard working guys and gals in the sport fishing industry. Their work ethic is second to none. They are working all day long for you. Sea Watch yesterday, a boat that leaves in the morning, comes back in the evening. 14 Dorado on board there with 24 yellowtail, 32 anglers. Here we go. We're starting to see the effects of that El Nino as that warm water is going to shove more and more tropical species up into our zone. Same thing on the Grande. Their first kind of encounter with tropical type fish. They ended up with seven Dorado on board there. So those flatheads are starting to move in and the question looms, will we see a season like we saw last year? And that is hard to tell. It is really difficult to tell. Last year was one of the most phenomenal Dorado seasons I've ever seen and it extended up into the Channel Islands. Whether or not that is going to reoccur this year is hard to say, but we're starting to see a little bit of that. Our yellowfin bite has not been that great here recently, but we're hoping that's going to also kick into gear, and it should. And who knows what other tropical species might move in with that warm water. As that warm water moves in, we'll see more and more of those kinds of fish. So we're keeping our eyes on that very closely. Aztec, who had that albacore the other day, Justin did a great job in his presentation. Hats off, Academy Award 6, Bluefin Tuna yesterday. Tribute 12, Bluefin Tuna yesterday. Highliner, two-day trip, 35 Bluefin four, yellowfin tuna, and there was some better scores and there were some slower scores. Now, I have been telling you how important it is to fish fluorocarbon. I'm still telling you that. 25-pound floral, when the bite is difficult, you want to drop down. Some guys drop down to 20 when it's smaller grade fish. And also, choosing a bait and changing it regularly make all the difference in the world. But, now listen to me, and you're going to talk to your crew member about this. This is so very important. There's been a lot of bites on the lighter line, the smaller hooks, and the long soaks, leaving your bait soaked for several minutes. So when you jump on board your sport boat, you're going to say, hey, am I changing my bait every 30 seconds or am I long soaking? Am I leaving my bait long soaked? Now, belly hook baits have been working super, super well. Belly hook baits have been really good. One thing, however, a nose hook bait come up through the the mouth, close the mouth and come up through the nose, 
You'll get bit many times on the retrieve. So you've long soaked your bait, and then when you're winding, you'll get a bite. Albacore are real famous for doing that. Sword bluefin tuna, you'll get a bite that way. You're not going to get a bite that way on a belly hook bait. Your bait, I believe, swims way better when it's belly hooked. But if you want to factor in that long soak and the retrieve, and when you retrieve, you don't just wind in really fast. You just take a couple grinds, stop, take a couple grinds, come back slowly. You get bit, throw it, throw it, free full, and get ready to put it back in gear and set the hook. So keep that in mind. There has been a lot of fish on the long soak, so we're watching that for you very, very closely. There's still bluefin tuna. We're seeing it. Man, sun's coming out. It's gorgeous. Uh, there is still bluefin tuna that is being seen around Catalina, San Clemente. We see it on the backside of Cat up near San Clemente, but it's really been difficult to get a bite. It's private boaters who are kite fishing. I've been scoring some excellent, excellent scores on some bigger grade bluefin tuna. So that is still in the mix. We're watching that for you very, very closely on a gorgeous Saturday morning in Southern California. Take you up to the, or let's concentrate on the islands right now. Coronado Islands, still some yellows there. Decent hits, 5 to 20 fish for many of the boats that are fishing there. And then you've got like the three Bs, Bass, Bonita, Barracuda continuing to bite there, and also some good rockfish. Hey, uh, I mentioned Todos Santos in Ensenada, some rockfish for good 3B fishing down there, if you happen to be in that neck of the woods. We get you up to Catalina Island, and it's been kind of okay fishing. Pat Whitaker on the boat, bait boat manana, said some guys told him they had sea bass at the east end of the island, and just east of the east end is a bank called the 277. A saner made a set on yellowfin there a few days ago, and had pretty good YFT. You may have wiped it out, may have mopped it all up, but it's definitely worth taking a look at. And anywhere you can find some warm water, you know, you're gonna wanna look at those kelps because we're gonna start to see those flatheads, those Dorado and yellows move in in mass. So keep that in mind. It would really behoove you to keep an eye on that. Clemente, lots of sea lions, some yellows out there, but it's tough to get them past the sea lions. And then our Channel Islands, Great fishing up there for rockfish, and but they also have good calico bass fishing. It's been a great year for calico bass, and there's bluefin up there. Some private boaters behind the islands have been conking the BFT up there in that neck of the woods. So if you have that kind of gear, like two-speed reels, i definitely bring it. And those smaller jigs like a Daiwa Sakana 100 to 130 grams have also been super, super effective. Don't forget that. That makes all the difference in the world of your success. I wouldn't fish those jigs with anything less than 60 pounds. I like heavy, heavy as you can go. If you can get a bite on it, you wanna have heavy just in case you hook that dream fish of yours. We've gotta talk local fishing because it's off the hook. We talked about it in Ensenada, but San Diego, wow, great fishing for Calico Bass for several of the boys down there. It's been a phenomenal local season for San Diego base boats. Calico Bass continuing to bite down there. The Dolphin is an example. Released hundreds of Calico Bass, or over a hundred I should say. Had 85 keepers, a yellowtail, 15 sand bass, but a ton of releases. So we are definitely seeing a lot of bass and really good fishing. Dana Ward sport fishing. Lots of bass up there in that neck of the woods. Releasing a lot keeping some it's up to you whatever you want to do and they can always fall back on some other rock fish and that kind of thing but really the name of the game right now has been this local sand bass and barrack good bite as it has been absolutely phenomenal great fishing surface iron on the barracuda that's been a great way to go color i believe is irrelevant not really all that important blue and white a lot of guys like throwing that mint color there's been a lot of barracuda there's been a lot of sand bass bite. Let me go through some scores because I haven't seen this for so many years and it's so great to see it doing again. Western Pride in the morning, 42 guys, 210 on the sand bass. Everybody getting some barracuda also. Enterprise, 55 guys yesterday, a buck 77 on the barracuda, 204 sand bass, 49 calico bass. How can you beat that? Monte Carlo in the morning. He ended up with 42 guys catching 107 sand bass. The native son, 37 guys with well over 100 barracuda, well over 100 sand bass. Redondo Special up there in the Santa Monica Bay. He had a white sea bass and 70 calico bass. Wow, Marina Del Rey getting in on this. They've got plenty of rockfish. They're also catching an occasional white sea bass as they did yesterday. Really great fishing going on right now. And remember, you can get a bite 
when you're fishing bass, sand bass, or calico bass, the way to do it is drop that line down. And I'm talking down to 12 pounds. You're fishing 12 pounds. You're bit all day long. You are slamming the fish. Use fluorocarbon. Choose a good hot bait. Drop that line down. And that is such a fabulous way to make things happen. Keep that in mind. Aloha Spirit yesterday with 28 sand bass, 32 calico bass, 8 barracuda, tons of rockfish, island spirit out there out of Ventura Harbor. Sport fishing has been doing really, really well. If you're on an extended trip out of the Channel Islands, you might well fish bluefin tuna. So that is also another opportunity available for you all. Really some tremendous opportunities going on. Right September 15th. September 15th down, we're going to have a 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. trip on the El Patron. If you want to get on that trip, I will have information for you here in the next 48 hours, how you can book on that trip. That's going to be a fun one. Friedman Adventures trip, I'll be there to shoot the video of your lifetime. Who knows what will be happening by September the 15th. I assume there's going to be some offshore opportunities. Could be just good local fishing. It's hard to tell right now, but it's going to be fun. I'll guarantee you that. So mark that down. September the 15th on board the El Patron, 22nd Street Landing, leaving at 6 a.m. back at 6 p.m. I don't know what to tell you. It is freaking gorgeous here. Guys are surfing. People are running on the beach. It's a lovely morning, and it's always great for me to spend time with all of you. Some great stuff. Will there be more Albacore today? We'll be watching that for you very, very closely, and of course, I can't thank you enough as today we should get to 10,000 subscribers. That happened awful fast and that happened all because of you. Sharing videos, liking videos, subscribing to the channel, ticking the bell so you're notified when there's new content. I sincerely can't thank you enough. Hey, man, this is so nice. It's beautiful. You ought to come down here, do some surf fishing today. Have a great day. Always great to start my mornings off with you and I hope to see you really, really soon. Take care, my friends.